In today's Bible reading, we pick up the story as Pharaoh continues to harden his heart and keep the Hebrew people in slavery. As a result, Pharaoh and the Egyptians have already endured the Nile River turning to blood, frogs blanketing their land, an infestation of gnats, and the plague of flies. The Lord continues to demand the release of his people, and after suffering through the plagues, Pharaoh concedes. But after each plague is removed, Pharaoh becomes more stubborn as he refuses to let God's people go. Chapter 9 documents three more devastating plagues from the hand of God. The first killed every Egyptian-owned animal. Next, festering boils spread throughout the city's population. And then, a great hailstorm is unleashed. How bad was it? Well, in verse 24, we're told, never in all the history of Egypt had there been a storm like that. It left all Egypt in ruins. And again, Pharaoh relented. We've had enough, he said. I'll let you go. You don't need to stay any longer. But you know the story. Pharaoh changed his mind again. And I have to be honest, the more I read this story, the more I begin to relate to the king of Egypt. You see, like Pharaoh, if I'm not careful, if you're not careful, we too can fall into repeating the same sinful patterns over and over again. In disobedience, we say no when God says yes. We resist God when he tells us that's not good for you or that's going to hurt you. And it's only after suffering the consequences of sin that we're willing to submit to God. And when God graciously gives us another chance, many times, we do the same thing all over again. So how do we break this cycle of sin in our lives? We turn around, we leave it behind. We say yes to Jesus and no to sin. The Bible calls it repentance. See, in a fallen world, we all have a tendency to end up like Pharaoh, stubborn, hard-hearted, a lifeless corpse buried under a sea of sin. So let's agree to turn away from sin today. Let's commit ourselves to begin a new life in Christ and break the cycle of sin.